Oftentimes, as we're working through our email, we may notice a trend in which the same group of people or the same person is sending us a lot of emails. By using the creating rule function, we're able to keep ourselves a little more organized by creating some sets of rules that say, if this person sends us this email, we can put it into a folder. It may sound a little complicated, but Outlook makes it very simple to use. Let me show you how. To access the creator rule function, we're gonna head on over to the top of our ribbon, mosey on over to the right in this little gear settings icon, left click it here, scroll down to the view out Outlook settings, or we'll left click that here, and if you look at the screen, right under attachments and above sweep, we have the rules function. Left click there. Outlook gives you a nice little blurb. It says you can create rules that tell Outlook how to handle incoming email messages. And essentially what we'll be doing is creating certain conditions that let Outlook know how to organize these emails. We have a few rules set up here already, but just to demonstrate how it's done, we're gonna click add new rule and we'll name our rule. Let's name this one test. Great. And now we'll add some conditions. If you left click, you'll see a variety of different conditions that we can set to our liking. The most common is usually using the from and the to uh, for the people function. So that's the one we'll be using today. So we'll left click from, and let's say I wanna keep track of all the emails from Carlos Perez, okay? And then you can also include various different conditions to really tailor it to your liking. But for now, let's just stick to from. After we found out our person, we're gonna add an action. So again, click on the arrow here. And again, variety of options you can use. Most common is usually the move to. So we'll say any emails that are coming from Carlos Perez, we wanna move it to the marketing folder, okay? And as you can see, we have a little pop-up. So we can either choose to stop processing more rules and that just prevents any of the other rules that we have set up from working and only focusing on this one here. And we can choose to run the rule immediately. Let's left click that here. Let's see. And once those rules are set up, you'll now see that anytime we have the marketing folder, any new emails that we get from Carlos Perez will be moved directly into this folder. Again, a great way for us to automatically organize without us having to manually move things into the folders. Another thing we could do, and another way to set up rules, is just simply right clicking on an email, scrolling all the way down, let's see, to create rule, right up here, right under block. And again, it won't have as expansive of a list as you saw in the original, but if you just want to click a create rule right from the email, this is a good way to utilize it. So as you can see, the rule will be always move messages from Ethan Kane to this folder. And let's say we also want Ethan's messages to go to our marketing folder. There, we can always click more options later to get a little bit more in detail. But for now, we just want that initial move in. Oops, sorry, accidentally deleted the rule. We'll go back to marketing, click OK, and now any of the incoming messages from Ethan will also go directly to the marketing folder. Again. This is a great way for the rules to run automatically behind the scenes. Outlook does the work for us and helps us organize ourselves a little better.